an athlete in high school? Uh, no, I wasn't. Uh, I wasn't an athlete. I was. What did I focus on? You know, it's funny. In high school, I was the editor of the school newspaper, and I'm actually. This is totally true. The only reason I did that was because once a year, we got to do an April Fool's issue, and I could write fake news. So, like, there was absolutely no growth in me in the intervening 40 years. I mean, it's exactly, <laughs> I'm just doing the same thing. Um, except now getting paid slightly, slightly more right. uh, than I did in high school. But it really, but I mean, that's the kind of, you know, it's the typical, typical nerdy guy. I grew up in Shaker Heights, Ohio. Do we have any, anyone nice. in Shaker Heights here? A few people. David Wayne. Yeah. Lily Shannon. Yeah, that's right. According to Wikipedia. According to Wikipedia. <laughs> yeah, it was um, Shaker, it's the suburb of Cleveland. It's known for a couple of things that had it, the main thing is it's it's the home of the Shakers and the Shakers were this weird religious cult. They were known for making this great Shaker furniture. That was their big thing, like these simple Shaker chairs. And the other thing was um, the key aspect of the religion. Uh, they did not have sex, and and growing up, my experience mirrored theirs in several. <laughs> several key ways, except I did not make chairs. I made no, I made no chairs. It's yeah, difficult to make chairs. It's true. Especially if you make a chair in high school. It's true. Were you a fan of the Indians growing up? I was, you know, and it's funny, now that we're, we're talking about this whole yeah. uh, sort of nose thing, and there's a little bit of, uh, do we have any Jews here? It's, sometimes you don't get that you know, on the, sometimes at symphony space, it's hard to rustle them up. Yeah. But um, I don't know. Are there any Jews in the audience? Well, you'll appreciate this then. I was um, a huge um, Cleveland Indians fan, actually. And, um, and the, the Indians today, as in those days, had a very, very controversial mascot, you know, which Chief is sort Wahoo. of, you know, Chief Wahoo is really a very racially offensive cartoon of a Native American with a big sort of grin. And, you know, the name Chief Wahoo itself is, I would say, somewhat derogatory. I don't believe that's an actual Native American name. Um, <laughs> But um, there was it was there was a lot of it was the 70s, so there were there were a lot of um, sort of progressives, you know, beginning to say maybe this isn't so cool having a, a mascot named Cleveland Indians. And a guy wrote a letter to the Cleveland Plain Dealer saying, um, "How would people feel if it was named the Cleveland Jews?" And I was like, "That would be amazing." <laughs> I was just like. That would be about the best thing. And I felt like you wouldn't even have to like change that much. You could still call them the tribe, you know? It would be like, it would be, it's like a really good thing. But, um, but I, was, I was rooting for the Indians and, and I would go to these games. They were the worst team. They never were in contention. But then one day I was at Cleveland Stadium and they announced this new outfielder for the Cleveland Indians named John Lowenstein. And it was the most amazing thing. It was like suddenly there was a Cleveland Jew on the field. And I wasn't the only person who was psyched about this because, and this is absolutely true, you can probably Google this, the um, organist at Cleveland Municipal Stadium, every time John Lowenstein got up to bat, would play If I Were a Rich Man. <laughs> <laughs> From Filler and This is like, this happened in Cleveland. This was like, and nobody thought there was anything at all odd about this. It was like, yeah, that's appropriate. <laughs> and, um, and then eventually, like, John Lowenstein, um, you know, was, was kind of upset about this because he, he came out and said he wasn't Jewish, he was German. So that's like kind of a big deal if you're German. You know? And I was like, dude, you believe what you want to believe. But I've heard your theme song, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure you're Then they traded the him. They traded him. They did yeah. trade him. They did trade him. The Orioles. They right? traded him. Yeah. Yeah. They, um, or I believe a couple of Palestinians actually. It was, uh, it was some kind of prisoner exchange. <laughs>